this is Adeptus Nubis, and today I bring you this 1v1 cast on Caldera's Refinery. First player is Shroom, playing the Chaos Lord, which is incidentally also his main hero. He's a very tanky melee command that cannot be suppressed, can only be knocked back with ability knockback. Incredibly, incredibly tanky, and has some very terrifying melee war gear. On the other side, we have Vindicare X, the prodigy playing the Force Commander, also a melee hero, not as tanky, can be made very tanky if you invest in him. It's more of a supportive command, uh, more of a supportive melee commander. Very classic matchup here Force Commander versus the Chaos Lord, Chaos Space Marines versus Loyal Space Marines. And immediately we have the first skirmish here. Force Commander going to tie up some CSM. Scouts have no right to actually be here um, taking part in this fight because CSM will most definitely outshoot Scouts and the Chaos Lord. Will actually do some decent damage with his standard bolter. But as it stands, the Scouts will just kite back and um, get out of the way. And the Force Commander is just chasing the CSM, but that's also a good thing. Because now the CSM are not actually doing anything. Ring around the Rosie, exactly. If you can do that to your enemy, like you're negating a lot of his capping power. And he gets a model with the Kraken Bolts, you see those those special effects on these rounds of the special uh, the special marines here. There are some there are special snowflakes. That the tactical marines are firing actually increase damage versus heavy infantry by 20% and heavy infantry only. Many people use this ability wrong, believing that it increases damage overall. No, that's not right. It's only versus heavy infantry. Chaos Lord. Desperately chasing after some scouts. He's very annoyed at this point. He he completely deletes structures from the map by just touching them. That's how furious he is, but nothing's happening. Vindicar X going for double techs. It's very interesting. Chaos Lord very low, tried to kill the weak something. Did nothing. And Tactical Marines forcing melee combat upon the Chaos Lord as he's retreating since he will take increased damage from all melee attacks. It's always a very good thing to attack in melee combat. Scout Sergeant right away for the scouts. So he's going for a very shooty build. Uh, he wants more sustainability for the scouts. I'm guessing we're going to see shotguns next. <clears throat> Not sure how he will deal with the um, with the havocs that Shroom has on the field now. Heretics forced off, but immediately we see an engagement on Shroom's power farm. So very very early push for the power. Um, didn't really do a lot because there's actually no no uh, no power generation here and the Havocs have an immediate effect Force Commander is forced off and has to leave and now we see the Kraken rounds again actually giving these tactical marines the edge here this is only light cover so tactical marines without the help of the suppression team would have won this fight And true was slowly edging back on the field. We have heretics going for a power wish. I didn't even realize that Vindicar X has put down triple generators, so he's going for a very, very fast tier two, I'm guessing. Or he's in desperate demand of some some power purchases. Let's see, these scouts are actually oh that's that's very very cheeky. Repairing the node as it's being attacked. Now we see a grenade point blank. Uh, he was trying to mind game Shroom here into backing off into the grenade because lots of times people just throw it right at their feet and people are now um, wise to it. That's a very interesting choice actually letting the Havocs cap and not the Heretics. Usually you want the Havocs to be set up protecting your stuff while it's doing something. And now we see snipers. That's a very inefficient use of of scouts I'd say because they also have the sergeant so well it's gonna make them incredibly tanky but the thing now is if they ever get tied up and lose models they will also leave power as well 
Well, well, it's not a bad idea. Since they have an immediate effect, scout snipers were not nerfed um, at all compared to rangers, which have had a significant amount of their damage removed from their long rifles. And the answer is going to be grenade launcher heritage, which is a fantastic choice versus scouts, obviously. Snipers will have to remain um, very stationary to fire the uh, sniper rifle. And now we see the iron halo and the artificer armor. Uh, that's definitely not going to to deter. No, I, uh, these havocs still easily countering the force commander here. Force commander is very tanky though now with the artificer armor and the iron halo. You can also not be knocked back by the heretics. So wow, and there we have a flank from the scout snipers. Did not see that coming. Maybe we're gonna see a retreat grenade from Vindicare. Vindicare is not wise to it. Could have deleted those heretics. Actually, he was very late on that grenade. I'm guessing because the scout snipers had to deset up. And now Devil Tactical Marines closing in with the help of the Force Commander Force Commander will most definitely scare away all these units. I'm not sure why Vindicare retreated those scouts. They still had decent, had decent health. They could have recaptured that requisition point. As it stands, both players opting for a very, very fast tier 2. No upgrades on the Chaos Lord so far. Tactical Marines were trying to get off a model <coughs> from the Havocs before they started firing, but they were focusing the wrong model. And so far it's 340 to 454 in favor of Vindicare X. I think it was on this very map that he actually beat Holy Hammer's Chaos Lord into a, into the ground with his Force Commander. Those were the days, triple scout buildings, no tactical marines needed to actually beat the Chaos Lord. Things have changed and now we see the elite training on those scouts as well. These. Heretics are looking for the scouts, but they won't find them. That's a very dangerous situation now. He does not have enough energy. Though to throw a grenade now, you need at least 60 energy. But scout snipers with elite training are incredibly, incredibly annoying to deal with. We've not seen a push for the power from Shroom here. Neither. Wow, that's a very, very aggressive horn shrine here. And if it finishes, that's a very, very nice setup here. But yeah, heretics immediately upgrading with the aspiring, with the aspiring champion, and um, go after the scouts immediately. Now the corn shrine is finished, and it will continuously spawn blood letters, which do power melee damage. And we'll have an increased spawn rate of Blood Letters 8th worship. And now we're gonna see Havocs, I guess, uh, Corn Havocs. And the Chaos Dreadnought is on the way. And we see more tactical marines from Vindicare X. When in doubt, just initiate the Steel Rain initiative. There you see the burst. Um, the burst the very very bursty nature of the scout snipers like the Chaos Lord being a hero will take increased damage from s sniper fire but sniper rifles actually do increase damage to commander armor and heavy infantry and uh, Vindicare X has pushed back a lot here but now let's see what he can do with Triple Tactical Marines, that's a very unusual build. It's definitely a very expensive one because you will have to pay a lot of upkeep here. But it's also potentially a very painful build to deal with 
not sure whether Plague Marines are the right decision here. Considering that Vindicare Axe has already opted for the Iron Halo, it's highly unlikely that he'll switch out to the teleporter, so I think Blood Letters would have been a nice idea here. And there we go, Corn Dreadnought. Activating the blood rage here. It's just pain. It's just pure pain. And scout snipers are trying their best to actually contest the map here, but they're taking part in so many fights that there's not enough map pressure, and it's showing because Vindicar X does not have a lot of map control. And there we have another big engagement coming up here. We have missile launchers now on these tactical marines, and wow, the Mark of Corn Dreadnought is going to engage the Space Marine Dreadnought, and it would win if it were not for the missile launcher tactical marines. So these heretics actually need to be repairing, oh, need to be repairing this Dreadnought, but it's not, it's not necessary anymore because this Dreadnought is about to go down. Wow, yeah, did not see that coming. And Plague Marines as well, that's why it was Snare. I think it was actually Shroom who I, whom I had a discussion with um, concerning the effectiveness of Plague Marines, especially if commanded by the Chaos Orc who can speed worship. Lake Marines, it's such a strong combination, and there we've just seen why. You just need auto cannons and Lake Marines, and that's the end of it. We have the Mark of Zinch on the CSM, and they also have their Aspiring Champion. They need to get into green cover though, they're taking a lot of fire here. The snipers do ignore cover, but now we see. A Devastator squad for Vindicare X. Surely he's gonna upgrade those with the last cannon. Yes. You might see a one shot. Zap. Another shot. Does he have vision? Nope. He does not. Line of sight blocker. It's a very nice setup here. Of course, Komana cannot push in, and Shroom is just. Marching through. No power left for Vindicare X. This is not what I have expected. That is the power of the Chaos Lord, but that's a beautiful grenade as well. Chaos Lord would have finished off those heretics, but then <laughs> the drain life ability. That has been subject of lots and lots of complaints. Um, just immobilizing the force commander. And this auto cannon has been key to room success here. But right now, these tactical marines are actually doing what those scouts should have been doing. They're capping the entire map. And they do have the, uh, the faster capping trade, so they will take it over very quickly. Both natural requisition points are not in the hand of Shroom now, which is very painful. The sexual means will try to kite away, but that's Blood Rage activated. The, the Chaos Dreadnought actually gets a model with just his bolter. That is... Oh, wow, that is unfortunate. Would not have thought that he would get the model. I'm sorry for that. I'll try to uh, close that. I completely forgot about that. And the Chaos Sergeant is actually going to get another model, and it's the Sergeant! That is pain. That is 20 power down the drain. It's not 25 power anymore. And the Chaos Sergeant is being kited back into the last cannon, but it's Shroom is wise to it. He doesn't fall for such trickery. And Shroom even 
decap and capped the natural power node from Vindicare X. Vindicare X now with four tactical marines. Let's look at the upkeep. The upkeep is very, very high. He's only a plus 200 requisition income. And that's with two fully matured requisition points. So the upkeep is just constantly slowing Vindicare X down. He is never oh he's never gonna go tier 3 anyway. He will have to find a way to deal with Shroom's army in tier 2. And his answer is is uh, tactical marine sergeants. It's actually a very nice idea. It's, it, it gives them so much more sustainability. But the sergeants add another layer of upkeep, which will slow, uh, which will slow Vindicare X down further. These scout snipers heavily invested too. There, it has just been the wrong purchase, wrong purchases. Wrong purchases are killing Vindicare X here. What is happening? He is keeping tabs on the victory points though, because it's 238 to 271. You would have expected Shroom to have closed this game by now with the army he has. He has the massive, massive, massive army advantage and he now has blood letters. Is going tier 3. He cancelled tier 3 earlier to go for um, blood letters before he's going for tier 3 is a more efficient use of requisition indeed scouts grenade those havocs and that might be the end of them but drain life immobilizing the force commander before he can land the killing blow very unfortunate here yeah, that would have been a, a huge win if he could have gotten those havocs because those havocs are doing massive massive aoe damage to these tactical marines Tactical Marines now have plasma guns and missile launchers. The other two squads have nothing. Would have been interesting to see some Sterlingard veterans. Vindicare X, I think, not a firm believer in Sterlingard veterans. Neither is Dark Riku. He, they both of them think that Sterlingard veterans are massively overpriced for what they do. I tend to disagree because Sterlingard veterans also have increased melee skill now. So. While they will not best blood letters, they can tango with. I think they can actually tango with heretics and get specials on the aspiring champion. Wow, that's another botch engagement here for Vindicare X. He just has nothing to deal with this dreadnought. As soon as the dreadnought comes into play, the the fight is over. And now we see the Thunder Hammer here for Vinicarex. Shroom is playing this very smart. This, the Thunder Hammer, though, is a very nice decision, considering that there are blood ledgers. He needs something to deter them. But then again, he also has nothing to actually properly fight. Yeah, and that's a. That's a <laughs> oh, he should have seen that coming. No. The shield. Uh, well, that's actually very, very unfortunate. Because the shield would have prevented the drain life ability from actually immobilizing the Force Commander. That's a very big loss for Vindicarex because requisition is the one thing he does not have in, abu in overabundance. And those are some. Is, is that a dead last kind of. And we see Bloodless being activated. Everything needs to retreat now because. That last kind is so vital. He needs to retreat. It's going to die. Yeah, it's definitely dead. There we see Drain Life and Blood is on retreat. Oh, but he gets away! Wow, <laughs> that's so unfortunate for Shroom. He was going so hard for that last cannon. Thunder, Thunder Hammer Force Commander, that's a skill turn breaker. Tongue Twister. Just ripping through these Blood Letters and actually wiping them with the help of tactical marines out of all units. Those tactical marines need to fall back now. They lost their sergeant. He's gonna lose the entire squad, maybe. 
No, but that's a horrible, horrible engagement here for Shroom. The Istio 3 has massive amounts of requisition in the bank, but still, that's a horrible engagement here. Last cannon actually. Wait, where's the last cannon? Oh, there it was. And now the force corner is just running on a right. He's just killed the Havocs. Is this the comeback of the century? Wow, that's the force corner. That is what I was saying earlier. If you invest into a force corner, he will just spiral out of control massively. We do have the lightning claws on the Chaos Lord now, but. The Force Commander just does not care. He has the Iron Halo. Wow, and he's sprinting after the Chaos Lord. He really wants to tap him on the back of his head for that insolence. For that heresy. And he's gonna give the Chaos Red out a, a reminder as well. Dawn of Throws, indeed, my friend. You had this game. This Force Commander is very, very angry here. Gets a special on the, on the Dreadnought. He's gonna focus on the... Uh, well, he is really going for that red. 93 health. Let's see, it's power melee damage, so it will actually do quite some significant amount of damage to the uh, Dreadnought. It's 80, but now we have the Drain Life, which is actually... Yeah, there we saw. He is immobilized, but... Yeah, he's not lifted up. And that was almost a dead Dreadnought. We now have double miss... No, we actually don't have double miss launches. I just got the indicators confused there. And Vindicar X has pushed all the way through to Shroom's base. Is now covering the base entrance with the last cannon. I'm thinking the second marines better uh, seek some cover behind these rocks. Because the onus is now on Shroom to get out of his base. And wow, that was a that was a direct hit on the Chaos Rock. That was massive damage. And th that Dreadnought, yeah, it better get repaired, because if that last cannon gets one shot on the Dreadnought, it's definitely dead. Even the missile launcher tactical marines would kill it at this point. He had to purchase... he had to repurchase heretics? Yeah, I'm guessing he lost heretics. I didn't even notice with all the downed units. And that is going to take a long, long time to actually repair this Dreadnought. It's, it has... 1300 HP right now and there you see how slow the repair rate of heretics is they were wishing they were still loyal to the Imperium to be Imperial Guardsmen who have the highest re repair rate in the game I would have thought that Shroom would have gone for the uh, armor of the Skillferno here considering the build from Vindicar X but no did not. There we see some brain life. I think it was supposed to go down on the sergeant, but he misclicked. And the force commander with the missile launcher. Tactical marines back on the field. The force commander is very angry. Level 4. Chaos Lord. Level 3 only. You would have thought that he'd be a higher level. Drain life has done massive amounts of work though. And Shroom. Shroom's VPs are running out. He had a triple cap on him for quite some time now. 70 to 127. This is, this is a very, very nice comeback here. Shroom is gathering his forces though, and he is gonna come back to the field with. He's gonna go for that force corner with, with quite some prejudice. Extreme prejudice. No, he's going straight for the victory points. That's the right decision because victory points are running low right now. He needs those victory points. Double mark of Zinch CSM. Yeah, they need to shred those Tycho Marines. They need to get the hell out of there. Let's take a look at this. This is vital now. Will Shroom make it? There we see the immobilization on the Force Commander. Force Commander is standing still so far. Everything is focused firing the, the Force Commander. And now we even see a Blood Sacrifice and Bloodlust. Shroom really what, does not want to lose this engagement. And he's going for... Wait, what is he going for now? Oh, the Scout Snipers. Vinicar X did not realize in time those, sac those CSM Force Melee Combat. Heretics are actually Force Melee Combat and with the Bloodlust active. Those are some dead... Scouts indeed. Force Commander did go down in incidentally. Oh, incidentally. 
my god. This game has me psyched. And the VPs are changing hands again and Troob is threatening a triple cap on Vindicar X who just one minute prior to this had Shroom base locked and triple capped. This game, ladies and gentlemen, last cannon might actually go down here. Shroom is gonna. Oh, and it went down. That is GG, ladies and gentlemen, because now there's nothing on the field that can actually contest this Chaos Dreadnought, and he will just. Yeah, he will just base rape. Vindicare X now. He's going to buy as much time as he can. Scouts are off the field as well. Force Command is going to get immobilized again. It's even if the Chaos Dreadnought goes down, the triple cap is actually going to be enough. I'm thinking. Corn worship on the Dreadnoughts to let it escape here, and Shroom is buying as much time as he can. Chaos Dreadnought is still in play. Chaos Dreadnought is also still in play. Force Command went down. Because Dreadnought goes down, and Kira's desperate, he needs that cap, but even if he gets that cap, he still needs another victory point. And it's not gonna happen. Blood Sacrifice again. And they shall know no fear activated. The other tactical marine squad is actually it's is rushing for the victory point, but there are no banshes, there are no dire ventures, they don't have fleet of foot. That tactical marine squad goes down. Chaos are almost down, but this is victory for Vindicare X. And Shroom wins it with just 38 victory points left, threw away his entire army to secure that victory, but what a victory it was. It was a well-deserved well one. That was frantic. That was insane. Wow. That was insane. Let's look at the heroes. Level 5, Carol Sword here. Did have the Lightning Claws and the Mantle of Hatred and the Icon of Corn, I believe is dead here. He fell in the service of the Dark Gods. And the Emperor did not protect this fella. Yeah, you can see the the frustration in his eyes. It's like, damn, he has worked best of me. But yeah, with that heretical color scheme, there's the probably you probably were asking for it. And there you have it. 38 victory points. Shroom is the winner here. Um, had the massively superior build. I'm guessing Vindicare X was trying out some stuff. Level 4 CSM. Level 2 CSM. But these CSM were crucial in fighting off Vindicare X's army because really the the tactical marine spam is not going to work versus the Chaos Lord. He has so many options to deal with it. He can use Malignant Blindness, he can use Armor of the Inferno, Chaos has access to Zinch Bolters, or the Mark of Zinch, and yeah, they will most definitely best Tactical Marines, even with the Plasma Gun. So, not really sure. Maybe if you we, if we would have gone for multiple Plasma Guns. But even then, the teleporter would have been a better choice here to actually disrupt those Zinch CSM or maybe some ASM. I'm not sure how Vindicare could have won this with the with the composition he had. He was just not dealing with the setup team very well. Then there were the Plague Marines as well. Plague Marines are notorious. Level three, there you have it. Like, you need a lot of firepower to actually um, chase Plague Marines away. And once they start to level and are worshipped, it's only going to get worse. Obviously, I'm um, talking about Nurgle worship here. Corn worship does not heal them, but it, it, it speeds them up, so they can also speed from cover to cover. It's very annoying. Like, Plague, plague Marines are a very annoying, no-brainer, brain-dead unit to deal with. Well... Nothing much left to say. I hope uh, you enjoyed this match as much as I did. It was a very, very frantic match. Um, and I hope to see you soon. If you have a replay as well for me, be it 2v2, 1v1, or 3v3, I've actually brought my portfolio now. 
um, send it to adeptus.nubus at gmail.com. I will take a look at it, and I might cast it. Like, don't send me those 15-minute replays. Don't want those. Other than that, see you next time.